Hello everyone, welcome to Imagine More with Thembi, making time with your little ones to create treasured moments. I am Thembi and today is Imagine More Story Saturday. So we're going to be telling the story of Itchy Bear. Now I have adapted this story from a book by Neil Griffiths called Itchy Bear. Have you ever had an itch and it just kind of, oh, maybe it started on your shoulder. Oh, 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 it went to your back. Oh my goodness, and it went to your hair. And oh my gosh, it's on your neck. And that itch just kept spreading and you just had to scratch it. Well, that's what happened with Itchy Bear. Now he was taking a nap. Oh, just when that nap was getting good, came the itch and it started on his foot, and it spread up to his back, and then to his neck, and then to his ears, and it itched so much that he woke up. <gasps> oh, he was a little annoyed because he could have slept all day if it wasn't for this itch. So he woke up and decided he was going to look for places that he could scratch his itch. And the first thing he found was this nice, huge rock, and he thought, yeah, that's gonna be the good one. I'm gonna get that itch scratch right on my back. So he went up to the rock and he itch. And he itch. And he itch. Can you itch your back? Like rub up against something and it, ooh, rub that back. Itch. Itch. Mm, and it felt so good and it was just starting to go away when out popped a turtle. Hey, what are you doing? This is my rock, said the turtle. Go scratch your itch somewhere else. Aw, poor bear. Just when it was getting good. There was a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in the puddles. He climbed up the rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea. He snapped at the minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. So he kept going and he's walking and he's walking and he found a nice lovely tree branch. Oh, that's gonna be good to scratch my ear, thought Bear. Oh, and he thought, mm, let me get up close to this thing. And he itched, where's your itchies? And he itched, and he itched, and he itched. And he said, ooh, ah, and just when it was getting good, who, who, who should pop up? <gasps> Owl. Who, who, who's that on my branch? I'm sleeping over here. Go scratch somewhere else, said Owl. Aw, poor bear. Flap your wings and fly around, fly around, fly around. Flap your wings and fly around, just like an owl. Open your eyes, big and wide, big and wide, big and wide. Open your eyes, big and wide, just like an owl. Land on the ground and hop around, hop around, hop around. Land on the ground and hop around, just like an owl. Turn your head and say, hoot, 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 hoot. Turn your head and say, hoot, hoot, just like an owl. So he kept walking along and he came upon a log and he thought, this log would be great to scratch my tummy. And he itched, and he itched, and he itched, and he said, ooh, ah, that felt so good. And then out popped, what was that? A squirrel. And Mr. Squirrel said, hey, what are you doing? This is my log. I'm trying to hide my fruits over here and bury them for the winter. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? Go somewhere else and scratch. Let's see if we can help Squirrel count his fruits. You know what kind of fruits he had? Strawberries. Mmm. I wonder how many strawberries he has. Let's count. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. So Mr. Squirrel went and buried his fruits for later. So he keeps walking, he keeps walking, and he looks down and he sees some twigs. Ooh, you know what twigs are good for? Little sticks. 
They're good for scratching between toes. And Bear thought, oh, I got an itch between my toes that I can use these twigs to scratch. And he itched, and he itched, and he itched, and he said, ooh, ah, mm. And just as it was getting good, <gasps> out popped a fuzzy, wuzzy caterpillar. And he said, hey, what are you doing? These are my twigs. I'm spinning my chrysalis over here, just about to turn into a butterfly. Go scratch somewhere else. Poor bear. He is just not having any luck. Two little butterflies sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other one Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little butterflies flying in a cloud. One flying soft. And the other flying loud. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Come back loud. Hmm, where do they go next? Two little butterflies flying down below. One flying fast. And the other flying slow. Fly away fast, 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 fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Two little butterflies flying in a fort. One flying long and the other flying short. Fly away long. Fly away short. Come back long come back short two little butterflies flying on a pad one flying happy and the other flying sad fly away happy fly away sad so he keeps going and keeps going and he gets really, 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 really upset because this itch is just spreading all over the place and he just can't seem oh, to get it to go away. What's he going to do? Well, Bear decided, hmm, I'm going to find myself a tree. And it, the big tree trunk looked like it was nice and scratchy because the bark was all peeled up and oh, that would have been good to scratch his bum. And he thought, yeah, this is it. But first, he thought, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to check and see. So he looked for Turtle. He didn't see Turtle. And he looked for Owl. Mm -mm, no Owl. And he looked for the Caterpillar. No Caterpillar. And he looked for Mr. Squirrel. No Squirrel. He thought, this is it. I am going to scratch and it's going to be the best scratch I ever had. And he itched. And he itched. And he itched. And he said, ooh, ah. But you know what Bear forgot to do? He looked around, but he did not look up. Because if he had looked up, he would have seen that it was a great big apple tree. And not only was it a big apple tree, it was a shaky apple tree. Oh my goodness, he looked up. And as he scratched, the tree started to shake. Oh, now you have to pat your knees. You hear that sound? And those are the sounds of the apples falling down from the apple tree right onto his head. Oh, oh no. Bear would have been upset, but he realized in all the commotion, the itching had stopped. And not only had the itching stopped, now he had all of these delicious apples to eat. Because <gasps> after a day of walking around looking for places to scratch, he got hungry. And now he has delicious red apples to eat. <laughs> Way up high in the apple tree, I saw five apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Whoop! And mm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. How many apples left? 
One, two, three, four. Way up high in the apple tree, I saw four apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Shake, 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 shake. Down came one apple, and mm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. How many left? One, two, three. Way up high in the apple tree, I saw three apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple and mm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. How many left? Two apples. Way up high in the apple tree. I saw two apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. And mm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. One left. Way up high in the apple tree. I saw one apple looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Woo! -hoo! And mm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm. The end. Isn't that a great story? So even though he couldn't find places and he kept looking and he was invading the animal spaces and he didn't really know it. So when he found out he was, he kept moving. And then at the end, he looked all around to make sure he wasn't bothering anybody. And then he scratched his itch and his itch went away. And in the end, he even got food. Ah, sometimes all it takes is a little persistence. Keep trying and make sure that you don't bother anybody along the way.